Michael freaking Jordan. A lot of people say this is the greatest of all time. This player right here changed the game of basketball. But he had to start somewhere. He wasn't always in the NBA. He was in the streets in the beginning. So I decided, yo, let's take Michael Jordan to the streets. In NBA Street Volume 4, all he gonna do is cook. As I've stated before with NBA Live, unfortunately, there's no way to mod players, so you have to kind of use your imagination when you go ahead and create these players. Now for myself, I've always thought of Michael Jordan as a wing scorer. And since he is a wing scorer in my opinion, I went ahead and created him as the icon ability for DeMar DeRozan. Not saying DeMar DeRozan is any way in any shape or form as good as Michael Jordan, but they have similar games in the fact that they kind of play in the mid range and they very seldom take a three. Michael Jordan always said he preferred to get to the basket opposed to taking a three. Another reason I decided to go ahead and go with DeMar DeRozan is because he can play in the post and with the DeMar DeRozan build, you can play in the post, kind of like Kobe, kind of like Jordan. So that makes more sense to me. Given that Michael Jordan is famous, he is famous, he is famous for the MJ fadeaway out of the post. For MJ's traits that I wanted to put on him, I went ahead and put post mastery, post vision, and statement dunker. I'm not gonna lie, that sounds like MJ to a T. He was always as athletic as he could be, then on top of that, if you tried to play him in the post, you was probably gonna get worked. Go get worked, I'm just saying, you was, there was no guard in Mike. No, no Garden Mike. You wanted to be like Mike. Ask Kobe. And no, I'm not displaying his overall because in NBA Live, for some reason, your overall really doesn't matter because you can still cook if you are a 70 overall against the 99. So, for the purpose of this video, we just gonna say MJ is a 99. He's not a 70 though. He's really not a 70. He's, he's not, I promise. But MJ is a 99 for the purposes of this video. So without further ado, let's take it to the streets. Now I can't say MJ has ever been to Mexico City, but in this game he has because he cooking boys on these streets. The bald headed assassin has come out of retirement to show y'all boys he still got it. I'm just saying he said he still got it. He even decided to go ahead and play with the kids. My guy, tall African, went ahead and stepped back for two of them. The hangs off the early. We already got the 2-0 lead. And did you see what happened to Mike just now? Mike got crossed in the initial play by the other team. How often does that happen? I know one player that's crossed Mike up, and his name is the answer. That's all I'm saying. The score is two to one, Mike is in the post, he goes up for the lay, no, but he gets his own rebound for the yams, just like mom used to make. The other team has the ball now, let's see what they can actually do with it, I don't know if they can cook like, oh my god, that was a Mike-esque dunk, he trying to show off for Mike a little bit. 
The score is three to one. We are still up. My man Tall African goes up for two of those. The hangs once again. Now the team is on the break. They hit this for the outside pass. They missed that one. They missed that one. They don't have those shots like we do out here in these streets, my guy. My man goes inside for the yams just like mom used to make. It is now 6-2. It looks like we are starting to pull off. My man MJ is carrying the team. Psych, not yet. But he will be because he's MJ. MJ. And I ain't talking about Mary Jane. <laughs> My man MJ goes to the bucket. He puts his man in the post. Let's see if he can get this bucket off. No, he has to kick it out. And, yo, we get more, one more pass. My man Tall African one more time. Can he hit two of them? No, no, we can't hit that one right there. Tall African blows the wide open, too. My man, MJ's man, goes all the way down court and scores with ease. I think it should have been blocked, but it's all good, though. They kick it out to MJ, pump fake, shawty, and my man for the reverse jam. Oh, my God. That was jam because, yo, damn. Woo. The opposing team has the ball once again. They are trying to get to the bucket, but they kick it out for two of them. The hangs, yo, we can't let them splash down on us like that. It is now 7-5. to five. MJ with the spin cross. Oh, my God. And he's going to go ahead and float it up. You know what I'm saying? A little bit of touch. You know, Mike had that touch. You know what I'm saying? Mike had that touch in the game. Yeah, yeah. The score being 8-5, to five, we cannot let them stay alive, and they are trying to get to the paint, but they kick back out to my guy, and he misses the open two of them, the hangs. So we on the break right now. My man Tall African for the nice little lay right there. The lay, you know what I'm saying? He didn't even have to do nothing fast. He just, like, floated that bad boy up there. The opposing team has the ball once again, and they are trying. They are trying to stay in this game. It is 9 to 5. My man is trying to shake Mike again. But Mike blocks all that. He blocks all that. But it leads to them getting another board off of two of those shots right there, yo. I don't know what we can do to actually get these rebounds because NBA Live currently ain't allowing us to do that. You know what I'm saying? But we go ahead and let them score two more of those buckets. You know what I'm saying? It's 9 to 7. This game is definitely a lot closer than we would like it to be. My man MJ with an MJ fade away. Oh, my God. That's MJ for yo. <sighs> yo, my man MJ is out here cooking with grease. It is 10 to 7. We are now winning this game. He tries to throw a lob. He tries to throw a lob. Who was going to get that? His peoples wasn't even there. We don't believe you. You need more people. That's all I'm saying. My man MJ still locking up on his own, man. Let's see what he can do. He can't do nothing with MJ. MJ is right there. We getting them boards? No. Okay, good, because we almost didn't get that one. I was about to be scared just a little bit. We are on the break right now. My man hits me with the backdoor pass. MJ for the lay. Y'all already know. It's already crazy out here. It is 11 to 7. This game looks like it is done and over with. This is well done like steak there. They're not coming back out here. The opposing team has the ball once again. But we're going to lock all windows and doors, I can hope. But no, they get to the bucket with ease. Yo, you see the lay? They just laying them things up with ease. But my man MJ on the break for the jams. You see, he hit him with the cradle, the MJ cradle. Don't that sound familiar? And they turning the ball over off the rip. It is 12 to 8. My man Tall African goes in. He goes in for the lay. But no, he gets the rebound, though, kicks it back out. MJ takes it into the paint, but no, he kicks it back out as well for two of them. The hangs, my guy. We are doing that thing that we do when we do it. But for some reason, we decided not to activate the game breaker just yet. And we decided, yo, let's go ahead and turn that thing over. But guess what? They do the same thing. MJ got his first win in NBA Street. And on top of him getting his first win in NBA Street, he got the play of the game with the reverse jam. Make sure if you like this video, you go ahead and like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Your boy Fly Guy. I'm out.
as quickly as possible with the green light specials out here. Y'all already know how we do it. Let me tell you what's been special about making these last few episodes of NBA Street. As this person drops me off for two more points, they already scored four on me, dropping me off early. I've been actually finding some pretty decent randoms to run with that kind of pass the ball.